Hi, I'm Jacob Manuel, and welcome back to one of my videos. In this occasion, I want to teach you how to take a screenshot in Epping. This is something very easy, and in this video, I'm going to learn how to do that. So, let's start with the video. For the screenshots in Epping, we had a software in Epping that is called Deppin Screenshots. This software, you can find the launcher writing the name that is deep screenshots first i want to tell you that we had three different options for the screenshots in deepin the first option is that you can take screenshots for the full screen as you are seeing this is the first option that you you can take screenshots you can select the full screen and you can take the screenshots the second option that you had, if we click in the context menu, you can take screenshots for this specific part. We're going to see a sample. Uh, as you see, it's very simple. Just you have to uh, adjust the the size and ready. And the last option that you can use, if you open a window or a software, if you want to test screenshots only for this specific window or software, you can use also the when the pin screenshots. Just open the software and the software automatically is going to detect the window of software that we want to take screenshots as you see it's very simple to take screenshots the other option that you can use is that if you open the software and if you want to take for a specific area you can use like this Also, you can adjust the size if, if you want to more small or large. You can use the the height or the width. In this part, we have a toolbar that we are seeing icons. Those icons you can use for put some objects that you can use for for your screenshot. The fit object that you can put. You can put a rectangle, but if you don't like the size for the rectangle, you can choose other size, for example, more big, bigger or medium size. But also, you can change the color for the rectangle. You can use for. 16 different colors that you, you are seeing here and the other audio that you can insert you can insert a circle also you, also you can change the size if, if you want we are going to see the other object that you can put you can put an arrow but also you can put a line and also you can select the size for the line and also you can change instead of the line for the arrow also you can change the size the other option that, uh, that you can draw with a pencil in the screenshot for example like this you can draw wherever you want as you can increase the size for the pencil you can change the color if you want the other option that you had you can add text for the screenshots for example like this but if you don't like the size for the font you can increase in this part 
for small small size or bigger size. Finally, we had the option for save the screenshot. In this part, you can choose different ways to save the screenshots. The first way is to save to the desktop. The second way to uh, is to I uh, to save. The third way is to save to a specific folder if you want to save to, uh, for example, a desktop documents or another folder. The next option you can click copy to the clipboard and the last option you can auto save and copy to the clipboard. In this part is very important. You can choose the quality for the screenshots if you want to more low or high quality. And the last part you can close the, the software but if you want to save your screenshot you have you can choose those different ways, for example, save to desktop. And in this part, you're going to see a notification that indicates that the screenshots has been saved to the desktop. And uh, this part, if you want to see the screenshot, just click. Uh, you see, very simple to use. And that's all about this video. If you want to see more videos, Please subscribe to my channel. If you, if you like this video, please give me a like and follow me on my social networks that are going to put video in the description. And see you in the next video.